Chapter 13 Protection of Rights of Persons with Disabilities 13.1 Our Constitution fosters equality irrespective of caste, creed and religion. All citizens including persons with disabilities are equal before the law of land and they have rights equally with others as envisaged in the Constitution. However, Reiterating United Nations Convention on Rights of Persons with Disabilities, the central government enacted the Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act 2016, enlisting various rights and entitlements of persons with disabilities. Major rights entitled for PWDs envisaged in the Act are 1. Right to equality and non-discrimination The appropriate government to take specific measures to ensure that PWDs enjoy their rights equally with others. 2. Community life. PWDs shall have the right to live in community. 3. Protection from cruelty and inhuman treatment. Appropriate government to take measures to protect PWDs from being subjected to torture, inhuman, degrading and cruel treatment. 4. Protection from abuse, violence and exploitation. Executive Magistrate Police Officer to take cognizance of such complaints in this regard. Any penal registered organization may inform such cases to the local Executive Magistrate. 5. Protection and safety during emergency situation and natural disasters. District, State, National Disaster Management Authorities to take appropriate measures to ensure inclusion of PWDs in disaster activities. 6. Home and family. No children with disabilities to be separated from his or her parents on the ground of disability. 7. Reproductive rights. No persons with disabilities to be subjected of any medical procedure which may lead to infertility without free and informed consent. 8. Legal capacity. Persons with disabilities who have right to inherit property, control their financial affairs, have access to bank loans, mortgage and other financial credit. The state and union territories are required to designate officers at the district level for mobilizing community and creating social awareness to support PWDs to exercise their legal capacity. 13.2 RPWD Act 2016 Offences and Penalties Violations of the provisions of the Act and rules thereunder. First offence up to rupees ten thousand. Subsequent offence rupees fifty thousand to five lakh. Fraudulently availing benefit. Fraudulently availing benefit meant for persons with benchmark disabilities. Fine up to rupees one lakh or imprisonment up to two years or both. Punishment for offences of atrocities. First, A. Intentionally insults or intimidates with intent to humiliate a PWD within public view. Imprisonment, 6 months to 5 years and with fine. B. Assaults or uses force to any PWD with intent to dishonor him or outrage the modesty. Imprisonment, 6 months to 5 years and with fine. C. Having actual charge or control over a PWD but voluntarily or knowingly denying food or fluids. Imprisonment 6 months to 5 years and with fine. D. Exploiting child and women with disability sexually. Imprisonment 6 months to 5 years and with fine. E. Voluntarily injuring or damaging any limb or sense or any supporting device of a PWD. Imprisonment, 6 months to 5 years and with fine. F. Conducting medical procedure on a woman with disability leading to termination of pregnancy without her express consent. Imprisonment, 6 months to 5 years and with fine. 
The Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act 2016 provides the following grievance redressal mechanism on issues related relates to deprivation of rights of PWDs. A. Grievance redressal officer on employment issues at government establishes. B. District level committees. C. State Commissioner of Persons with Disabilities. D. Chief Commissioner of Persons with Disabilities. E. Special Courts Designate Court of Service in the District. Grievance Redressal Mechanism At the top, Grievance Redressal Officer to be appointed by every establishment. District Level Committee on Disability If aggrieved PWD is not satisfied with actions taken by GROs, State Commissioner for PWDs to be approached in case of State Government Establishments. Chief Commissioner for PWDs to be approached in case of Central Government Establishments. Designate Courts Section 84 of the RPWD Act 2016 mandates the State Government in consultation with Chief Justice of the Concerned High Court to designate a court of session to act as a special court to try the offences. Thirteen point four. The Act provides the State Commissioners for Persons with Disabilities SCPD and Chief Commissioner for Persons with Disabilities CCPD to act as a civil court for the purpose of requesting information, documents and also summoning for hearing. As of now, these authorities on receipt of complaint or otherwise regarding deprivation of rights of persons with disabilities take up the matter with the concerned agencies of the central state government for redressal of the grievances of PWDs and they also hold personal hearings in some cases involving the complainant PWDs and the respondent authorities to settle the grievances amicably. However, there is a lack of any system for monitoring the follow-up of the recommendations made by these authorities and also the gap in implementation of the recommendations. As per the Act, the state government in consultation with state high court is required to set up special courts in every district for expeditious hearing of cases regarding violation of rights of PWDs. Very few states have so far notified special courts. Similarly, states are required to appoint special public prosecutor to take up the cases in such special courts. Thirteen point five. The national policy outlines the following measures to safeguard rights of PWDs including streamlining of grievance redressal mechanism.
there is a need to develop a system to capture the data relating to number of cases filed by PWDs in special courts, police stations, and the time taken for disposal of such cases. On receipt of complaints by the Office of CCPD, action should be initiated within a week. The respondent authorities should be given maximum of one month to reply and in no case it should go beyond two months. Personal hearing, if need be, should be completed within three months on receipt of complaint. The above time schedule shall also be adhered to by the, CC, by the SCPD. State should start online hearing at the earliest possible time. Office of State Commissioner need to be given due support of staff and other infrastructure. There should be a common online platform for registering of complaint by PWDs and the system will automatically forward to CCPD or respective State Commissioner based on the nature of the complaint. Further, the system should enable to monitor follow-up action by the respondent authority. Individual departments of all states and UTs should be given restricted access to view the record available and also explore the action taken. The complainant should also be given restricted access to view the status of the complaint and status of implementation of CCPD or state commissioner with respect to his complaint. The National Crime Record Bureau of MHA needs to maintain disability segregated data regarding crime against PWDs. From 2021 onwards, NCRB may include disability segregated data in their annual crime data. Sensitizing public and the public authorities is the key to create an inclusive society and also to protect the interest of all. The state commissioners in consultation with the state governments need to conduct sensitizing workshops for district state authority periodically. The state governments need to allocate fund for holding such workshops. Similarly, Office of CCPD should also hold workshop for central government authorities for the current financial year. Office of CCPD and the state commissioner need to maintain data on workshops such as participating organizations, districts covered, etc. based on the analysis of nature of complaint received at the Office of CCPD or state commissioner priority for holding sensitization program for the sectoral authority. State Commissioners may also keep watch on the issuance of Certificate of Disability for Adherence of Time Schedule of one month as prescribed under RPWD rules and hold periodic review with the state authorities. All the states and urine territories need to take measures to constitute of district level committees within a period of six months which could act as grievance redressal mechanism at the district level. All the states, union territories need to designate special court in every district and appoint special public prosecutor for facilitating speedy trial of cases concerning rights of PWDs. The public prosecutors should be sensitized appropriately about rights of PWDs to facilitate smooth handling of cases of PWDs. The National Legal Aid and State Legal Aid Authority need to develop schemes and programs for PWDs for enabling them access to justice.
The executive magistrate may be designated in every district to deal with matters relating to violence, abuse and exploitation of PWDs. The executive magistrate and the police officer should be given orientation training about the rights of PWDs and their role and responsibility to protect their rights. The refresher training program should also be held every three years.